Supporters of a safe injection site in Ottawa are trying to build public support. This morning, they unveiled a mock-up of what they hope will soon be a real location in the Bywood Market. As Simon Gardner reports, residents also came to voice their concerns. This is what Ottawa's proposed safe injection site would look like. These are clean needle kits so drug users can shoot up without fear of overdosing or getting a deadly disease. This place, located on Murray Street in the Byward Market, is a scaled-down version of Vancouver's Insight, currently Canada's only government-sanctioned facility. Sean LeBlanc, a former addict, says an Ottawa site will save lives. About 40 people in this community die every year of an overdose. You know, a lot of them could be preventable. Safe injection supporters have some influential people on side, including Rachel Bard, CEO of the Canadian Nurses Association, and Dr. Mark Tyndall, chief of the Ottawa Hospital's Infectious Disease Division. I'm here because I've seen too many overdose deaths. I've seen too many needless HIV infections. Donna May believes her daughter Jacqueline may be alive today if she'd had access to clean needles. Instead, she died last year in Toronto after showing up at hospital malnourished and diseased. She had presented with a form of flesh-eating disease that had consumed the majority of both of her legs and her buttock. It was not pretty. Despite the heartfelt appeals, an Ottawa safe injection site is not a sure thing. The police are opposed, and at today's event, politicians were nowhere to be seen. As well, the federal government would need to grant the site an exemption from criminal laws. Community support is another hurdle. Groups lobbying for a site claim a recent survey shows widespread support among residents of Lower Town and the Byward Market. But several residents showed up at today's event claiming the survey was poorly done and biased. You're claiming support from the community. That is not a basis to claim uh, for claiming support from the community. After some tense discussions, Pierre St. Jean, a Clarence Street resident, was allowed to speak. I support treatment, I support prevention, but I don't support this. This is harmful for us. While supporters remain optimistic that Ottawa will get an injection site, they concede it's a tough cause to be fighting for. Simon Gardner, CBC News, Ottawa.